So I've been going out at night recently, uh, trying my hand at taking some long exposures with a few different film cameras. It's something that I've dabbled with in the past, but it's definitely something I haven't really like properly fully immersed myself in and you know practiced to get much better at it. And to be honest with you, I've really been enjoying it and it's definitely something I'm going to do more going forwards. So I went out with my Mamiya RB67, I shot a couple of rolls of Portra 400 through that and then I had a 35mm camera on my Canon EOS 50E and I shot a roll of Cinesteel 800T through that. But yeah, shooting long exposures at night is really, really fun. If it's something that you haven't given a go yourself in the past, it's something I would definitely recommend trying your hand out because it's just, you know, obviously there's this air of sort of like excitement and stuff in the air when you're out alone at night. You know, I guess there's that sort of element of fear to it as well, which almost makes the air kind of feel electric, you know, it's exciting. But then at the same time, it really forces you to kind of slow down and think about what you're doing because you've really got to worry about your exposure settings and things like reciprocity failure and make sure you're getting everything done correctly. I just use a phone app uh, for my exposure settings. I've got a light meter app and I've actually got an app for reciprocity failure as well. So I just kind of use both those apps and then kind of get to the point that I'm happy with and you'll see from the results that comes out okay. So yeah, so with this video, obviously I just went out I filmed a little bit, I took some photos, I pieced it together with a song over the top. But, you know, let me know what you think of the pictures, obviously. But if you're interested in maybe me doing a video where I kind of more do it slowly and talk to you about the apps I use and the settings I do on the cameras and how I focus at night and stuff like that, let me know. And it's definitely something I'll be happy to do and film in the future. But for now, I'll stop rambling. I've got video coming. I'm shooting with a model friend of mine tomorrow with the RB67 on some expired film which will be next week's video. And then I've got another video kind of updating you on a few pickups I've done recently. And then I should be back into doing the Southrend Project episode two and a few other bits. But yeah, for now, enjoy this one. Thanks for watching guys. As always, appreciate you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.